Hey guys, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. If you are not, welcome back. Let's get right into this video. So, first things first, um, there are several factors that come into when you're getting when you're going to plan a picnic. Um, it depends on what you want to do and if you want it to be something big or something small. Um, I know that there are several videos on how if you want to do like a bigger picnic, but if you want to do something smaller, like preferably two to four people. But preferably what I've done was just a picnic for just two, like I said, so like a more like intimate setting. So um, what I will do is first I'm going to talk about some of the things that I'm going to show clips on that I'm going to put into. So I'll have clips and also have pictures of some of the things that I've done on how I set it up. So now what I'm going to do is this video here specifically is if you want to do a picnic on an actual, an actual like, a, like a shelter or a pavilion in a park. Um, and also I'll do one if you're going to and also I'll talk about what to do. If you are doing like a natural traditional picnic, like I'm talking about laying out the blanket or doing like or doing it on picnic tables, um, I'm gonna talk about both because there are comparisons and contrasts to um, what it is that I've done because I have done both and it is very different. Um, so let's just get right into what it is I'm gonna do. So first things first, um, I first did a picnic on one a pavilion. Um, I live in South Florida, so there are tons of public parks that have. Um, pavilions or shelters that you can have parties and I'm more than sure that we've all been to several uh, baby showers um, birthday parties that people have had at pavilions so what I did was I said okay you know what um I okay so I went to a popular park I went to um down in South Florida um and down in Hollywood uh, down in Hollywood Florida there's a park called two by park which is a pretty popular um park um really really nice and um but anyway to get to the nitty-gritty is I said okay let me look online because I want to see if I can have a smaller pavilion, because obviously just two people, I don't need a pavilion for, for 300 or for 300 people like that. That's not necessary if it's just us two. So probably preferably something small. So I looked online, bought something great. I said, OK, fine. Per preferably, definitely whoever you're going to do the picnic with, try to be sure that he's off that day and that he's feeling well, because obviously, you know, you want to ensure that you're going to do all this for somebody to actually go ahead and to see it. That is something that you want to do. Now, um, so what? So let me talk about the pavilion first, and I'm gonna jump over into the um, into the actual like, traditional picnic. So first things first is, um, so once I got everything set, okay, boom, the date. So now when the date arrived, I said, okay, um, there are some things that you want to consider when you're going to an actual pavilion because there's some things that you're gonna have that you're not gonna have on an actual picnic. For example, if you know that you're gonna have like a ring light out, um, if you know that you're gonna have a, a lot of things electrical, like for example, a balloon pump. Because you know those that is something electrical. Um, if you're gonna have extra lighting, um, if you're gonna have like some type of music playing, you want to ensure that that you um have at least water and electricity available um in the on the on the pavilion. The pavilion that I had, great, perfect, I had all that, so I was all I was I was all good to go. Um, so what what you will see in the in the clips that I put at the end is I'm going to show you how it came out on the things that I can do. Because you're on more sturdy ground, you can add certain things that you cannot add to an actual, um, like if, if you're doing it like, like in the grass or if you're doing it on an actual picnic table, it's very different. Um, so what I will do is I will show a few of the things that I've used because I don't have close up angle shots to every single thing. And you might be wondering, okay, hmm, like how did you do that? Or how did you do that? So um, if you do have a question, definitely, definitely comment down below and you, um, and I'll just, I'll, be, I'll love to answer whatever questions that you have. Um, I will show some essentials first and then I'll go over into, um, having it at a pavilion versus doing it, um, on a actual grass, grass or tent setting, if you will. So definitely first things first, mind you, this is something that's outside. And if you are in South Florida, the weather goes up, the weather, like you don't, you don't know. So me personally, I just said, okay, hey, you just pray that it doesn't rain. So, um, which is, which I've said in previous videos. So first things first, I got these um, clamps that I use to help hold and weigh down the tablecloths that I had up on the table. I had these, I have this set here. I have literally another set here for the bigger, um, for, the, for, the, 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 for the more thicker tables. I have these because you see how wide these open? These may not open as wide, but they are heavy. And you want to have as many heavy things as possible. Um, Dollar Tree for this one. Dollar Tree for this one. Like I said, pretty big and a strong firm hold. And I also have these as well that came in a pack of four. This one here, it was okay. Um, they, they are semi-sturdy. 
um but like oh so i'll put it this way so you guys can see how it opens and it just goes ahead and goes ahead and clamps onto the table that way these are definitely clutch when you want to hold down the um the picnic tables or whatever it is that you're going to use obviously if you're going to do a pavilion what i did was i had a table um i had one table set up for like to, to do the food and then like literally in the middle of the pavilion on the ground was where I had everything laid out so if you have stuff on on, on the ground if you're doing if the main settings under going to be on the ground of the pavilion then these are of no use to you unless you're going to like lay them down on the cloth but because i, I as you'll see in the video i have I have like um so many decorations around it nothing really lifted and um, there was also like no rain and no wind on the day of that picnic. So, um, go figure out if you even need these. So that's that. Um, definitely because you're going to be outside, you do want to have, um, heavy duty tape. This here dollar, I forgot, dollar tree. I just forgot how many yards it says. Maybe like nine. I'm not too sure, but, it, but you do get an ample amount of space. Um, a lot ample amount of tape. I mean, so you can tape down whatever it is that you need to do. And please do not be cheap when you're actually pulling the tape off. Use as much as you can for that firm, steady hold. Because like I said, we're dealing with wind because it's something outside. This is something to clutch that you want to have. Um, just to comment on some of the things that I, other videos that I've seen on YouTube about people who, you know, because it's a surprise because I, you know, did uh, like a surprise theme. Came out really lovely. Um, I noticed that people are using like like cloths. I see that, that they're using t-shirts, that they're using ties. And I'm just like, okay, well, you just said that you went to the dollar store. So why not just grab the traditional mask? I mean, it could be um, like a like a plain black one or you know whatever white. Wh what? Who cares? As long as it's covering their eye. I mean, and you can just toss that out after. But I mean, you know, hey, to each his own. But because I wanted to have like a really nice, like a more chic kind of theme, I just used one of these and just tossed it out at the end. Or you can keep it for yourself. You know, whatever. But like I said, that's just me. Um, next, if you want to keep the full warm, these here are definitely clutch to use. Fancy heat. This one here at Dollar Tree, though, this only heats up for two hours. So, um, because it only heats up for two hours, you got to be sure that you're going to eat soon. Or you probably have to, may have to go to like Walmart, or maybe like Costco's, the BDs, or something like that, where, where it's going to, where I think it heats up to eight hours, something a little bit longer. I don't know who's picnicking for eight hours or so, but you do have chips where it may, 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 may be like a long, um, like a, like a two in one kind of theme. So one kind of thing could be like so many different factors which I'm not going to get into, in, into into this video because that's just way too long. Or maybe people might have this for, for like maybe like weddings or something like that. Um, or even for like like wedding showers and they want to, you know, just ensure that the food is warm. This is something that you are going to use. Um, I, what will work pretty much for me because obviously, you know, we did not take that long to eat. So this one is here is definitely clutch to use. Um, if you, for those of you who, who don't know, is um, you get the aluminum, the, the aluminum foil pans, like, like, a, like a baking pan. The aluminum one and what I, what I do is I bought two so I had one I uh, so I so with the two that I had um I kind of like double it so with the layer on the bottom the one that's literally that the heat is actually touching this one I have that one in in water that way when I place the food on top of it it's not like really burning the food it the water kind of I guess keeps it balanced I guess and that's what kind of keeps the food warm so that's that here um definitely next what I do want to say is if you're gonna do fruit I would prefer that you have it on a more sturdy tray. Like I said, if you are outside and you don't want too many things falling all over the place because you bought it to eat it, not for it to be all over the ground, not for it to be all in the dirt. So I would suggest that you get just, just a simple tray, Dollar Tree um, is, is your best friend. These are super sturdy. I had four or five slices of watermelon on this and it stayed pretty sturdy on it. So, um, you know, or, or whatever tray that you do have, but I would recommend that you actually get this and then a phone tray. Um, nothing in like saran wrap or, or, or um, like aluminum foil, unless like I said, you're eating it like, like right then and there. But if you want like a nice display, that is something that I used and which was clutch and, you know, just, just making it like a really nice, uh, scenery, you know, if you will. Um, next, cause I don't want to make this video too long because like I said, I'm going to add in pictures and videos of everything else. Um, for plates, I did use like the little, little nice ones here. This is, this is like a small one that I use. I had this for the dessert and I had the bigger one to this for the actual food itself. Whether it be pizza, whether it be like red lobster, Flanagan's, whatever it is, it is sturdy enough to hold it. And because it looks so real, it's like, oh my God, do I keep this? But no, you definitely can't toss this out um, afterward for, for a dollar. You cannot beat that. Um, for cups, yeah, these are super small. Um, I had several out there, but this is just the fastest one that I can grab. This was five for a dollar at Dollar Tree. Yeah, pretty small, but you know, it did serve its purpose, whatever, for what you needed it for. That's that. Um... Forks and stuff. I didn't want anything too cheap, so I did have these. 
they, they do look real feel. I kind of like how they look so, you know, whatever. Let me just go ahead and just grab these. So that's that there. Um, next, it was pretty hot outside. Um, so I did have my fan because I'm like, okay, like, no, like, it, it, it yeah, um, you're, you're gonna need this to kind of say, okay, ooh, let me just get some breeze clutch. So be sure that it's fully, um, charged when you use them. Oh, oh my God, my bad, I actually didn't turn it on. Oh, okay. My bad, guys. Okay, and then next, what I did was, um, with the new pantry, like, okay, like, what can I use to hold it up? Because obviously it has to be on something. So what I did was I took this tray here, Dollar Tree, so I had two of these, and actually put it like inside of it like this. That way when it was warming, the food was actually warming. It's not literally directly on it, but it was like on something that way it can, that way that he can rise up onto the aluminum pan to keep the food warm. Because cold pizza doesn't really taste good to me. Neither does cold chicken, cold rice, cold red lobster, cold flanagans, cold tea jazz, whatever you're going to have. Cold, oh, cold subs, yeah, because it's a cold cut, but warm food. Um, you can do something like this. Me, for, I see some people that do it like kind of upside down, but then you have to trash it after because now it's going to burn this middle part here. But I mean, I, yeah, you're going to toss it out to each his own, but me personally, I'd rather just do it this way and then kind of like have the aluminum pan balance over this. That way at least the food is still keeping warm. Or you can still, I've seen people go to like Costco and buy the actual tray that holds the, and buy the pan, buy the tray that holds the pan for the 100% secure fit. Because with these here, it may be a bit of an issue taking it off, but only because you're doing it for the steady reasons. You're like, okay, I don't care. I want to just um, do this. So to each his own, up to you. But you want to, want to save a couple of dollars, you can definitely use um, this tray or a bowl here. All right. And then next is definitely the balloons for if you do want a more, a more aesthetic look for either the pavilion or if you are going to do it like an actual picnic, like an actual like the picnic table itself, I did use my electric balloon pump. And this is exactly what I was talking about in terms of you want to ensure that you, um, that the pavilion that you have, at least the one that was provided to me, had electricity. Um, so I was able to plug in my machine and use this. I will do a separate video on how these things work. But like I said, I'm showing you, these are your saving grace when you are blowing up so many balloons, especially if you're doing a balloon arch. These are definitely clutch on something that you want to use um, for all the balloon blend from the from the regular latex balloons even up to the aluminum ones So this is your best bet. No, it is not helium But still um, I had in other videos where I, I was explaining to you how You can use like um, the glue dots or balloon dots in order to make it look like there's actual helium in the balloon And it's not these are definitely um, clutch and something key, key that you want to use when you need to blow when you need to blow up balloons in a hurry So that's that um, so next, so next, because I don't want this video too long, um, I definitely want to talk about how to, um, the difference between when I did the, the picnic on the pavilion versus when I did it like an actual picnic table or like, or like in the grass kind of theme. Of course, when you're doing it um, on the ground or on a picnic table, you gotta be mindful of more ants. Um, me, at the time that I went, the time of the day that I went, which from, I want to say it was from like 2 p.m. to 5, there were no mosquitoes per se, but it is a whole lot of ants. You do see um, like, like more like small spiders. You do see like a like, like, like more gnats and stuff like that. So I didn't really need the mosquito spray, although I did buy the which is definitely clutch if you are gonna be out earlier in the morning or if you're gonna be out like after after five thirty ish PM. Um, you know, as soon as the sun sets, well, of course, um, of course the daylight saving time does play a factor because um, the cooler it gets, the more mosquitoes are going to come out and they will bother you. So please be sure to pack your bug spray. Believe me, you will thank me later. Okay, um, so back to the matter. So um, what I am going to say is, um, of course, definitely, whenever it's something in the grass, you may have less decorations because you're not on, on like a sturdy flat surface like how you are if you are doing it on a pavilion. I will say that because some things about, okay, you know, I want to put this up, but I'm like, okay, no, don't put it up because, you know, you're not on sturdy ground, so you don't want to actually kick it over, knock it over, God forbid, something gets wet, gets damaged, gets dirty, catches on fire, God forbid, you don't know. You don't want that to happen. So me personally... Like if you want to do like glass um, vase, if you want to do like like the whole candle thing and actually like the candles, preferably I would go with the candles that don't require a fire, don't require an open flame because of that specific reason. Um, I, for me, when I did my picnic at, on the actual ground itself, it was a little bit more windy for some reason. I, maybe because you know what, I did do it in two different days. So maybe that specific day it was more windy. But um, I, maybe that was the case because it was super windy. So I had to use literally all these clamps that I had 
in order to keep everything down. But I did, like I said, when I did the picnic um, on the pavilion or the shelter, I didn't need any of these at all. And I, and also on the pavilion because, like I said, I, on the pavilion I was on the ground. Um, and and oh yeah, and yes, I did have the the also the the picnic blanket, and it was still literally just just as um soft as if as if I was in the grass. So don't say, oh my God, no! How do you sit on on, on the concrete? No, if you, because what I did was also when I had my picnic blanket, I also used a, a table cloth to kind of cover the blanket that way if something fell on it or whatever, which which it which something did was the water that came from the heat warmer. Um, I just tossed it out. So um, so me personally, if you um, to me personally, yes, there are pros and cons to doing the picnic on a pavilion versus doing it like an actual traditional on the ground or on on the picnic table. They do have their pros and their cons. So what I will do now is I'm pretty much done with, with the gist of what I'm going to say because this is just part one. I will have several videos coming up on the more, okay, like how to do, how to do the balloon pump and um, what I prefer. So, oh yeah, so the question was what I prefer doing, um, what, I do the, what I do the pavilion or what I do the um, actual tra traditional one. No. So this is the case. If it's for like a birthday or something grand, then I would actually prefer the pavilion because at least with the pavilion, we can plug in more things. We have a, we have a bit more shade. Um, we have we just have like more space for ourselves. You know, it's a bit more organized than if you're doing it on um, the traditional because traditional there is no water. You have to go far to go looking for a restroom. Um, you know, there is no electricity, so you cannot plug in a, a karaoke machine. You cannot plug in the electric pump. You cannot have on extra lights. You cannot plug in your ring light. So there are many, many, many. Many factors that come in versus if you're doing on a pavilion versus if you are going to do it on a park. And also you cannot have that many balloons if, if you're doing it on the um, traditionally because of, of the simple fact that where you're where, where going to stick it, where you're going to put them. Because all you're going to do is just blow everywhere. But on a pavilion, you can stick them here, you can hang them here and really make it look nice and really make it your own. So, um, like I said, I want to make this too long. I will go ahead and insert the clips of what I did do on how it came out. Um, like I said, there were some things that I wanted to do, but I was like, oh, you know what? It's already getting late. You know what? Never mind. I will show you the scenery of how I had it done. I will show you um, all of that. I will include the clips first, then I'll put the pictures down at the end. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Um, thank you so much for watching and take care. I love you guys. Okay. Bye-bye. So guys, if you would like to see what pavilion number 10 looks like, here at Tiwa Park, let me show you guys. I guess that one that you cannot use, which is fine. But um, this is what it looks like from the outside. Let me step back a little bit so you guys can see. That's, I guess, like a restroom there. And this is what at least number 10, that's the basketball court. And this is what number 10 looks like. It can probably, it can probably hold maybe about 20, 30, 40 people, maybe maximum 50, you know, if they kind of squeeze tight or some people are standing. So. Just to give you a view of what the pavilion looks like here at TI Park, here in South Florida. Alrighty. There you have it. And that's just my stuff over there. So there you have it. Number 10. Okay, guys. So this is the way that it turned out. Not too thrilled about it, but um, I just did the best that I could from you he being here by myself. Yes, it's late, but you know, we just did what we can do. This is something so super mediocre and um, it looked like it is last minute. But I did do the best that I could. And so there's the food there. Those are the drinks. And then have, this is how I have like the tablecloth set out. I have like a blanket that's underneath it. And then here I have like the cake that is slowly melting away from me. But of course it's outside. So what do you expect? But I'm more than sure that cake would taste good. So we have flowers there. Something more basky there. Chocolate covered strawberries here. And then you guys can sit here. Move all this trash away for sure. Definitely move all that trash there. And then... This is what the table would look like. Um, definitely more than this, but of course, Dollar Tree, so what do you expect? This may not be looking the best, but you know it is what it is. Um, that's the age there. And then those would say happy birthday. Of course, it's the last minute, so I'm just rushing to do anything that I could just to have something put up. But that is what that is there. Um, but yeah, I just love the beautiful, the beautiful scenery. It is nice out here. It's really, really lovely. Um, just love how nice and clean it is out here. So if you guys are looking to book something out here, definitely, uh, I would recommend it definitely with a friend or someone's help to get you along the way. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it. Like I said, uh, I, of course I want to do more, but because it's just me out here by myself, I'm just saying up to see how things look. It doesn't really make much sense to put everything out to really, really show you guys what it is. But, um, just for the record, um, 
of course red lobster just something super simple um the drinks here you just try your best to pick all of your you and your friends favorites so if it's like half and a half you have some of that root beer um champagne or wine of course i know you have that water so yep and um yeah that's pretty much it so yeah mediocre uh not too thrilled with it but um it did you know at least for the most part for what i envisioned it's not as horrible as, as, as i thought which is good so yep and there you have it all right guys And when it's all said and done, the big teardown is all complete. Got everything up. It's so hard to get other people's stuff off because you know you didn't do that, but let me just take that tape down on the wall. Everything is all good. I'm gonna turn off the light. And that's it for the big birthday picnic. All right, closing off.